Hi, this is Philip. I wanted to give you a couple of quick tips how to make the most out of our Salesforce Saleswings integration. The first thing you want to make sure is you want to go to the settings inside Saleswings and you want to uh, connect to the Salesforce API. Uh, this should be one of your Salesforce administrators so that we can look up lead and contact owners uh, and create links from Saleswings to Salesforce. Secondly, of course, uh, make sure you have the Salesforce package installed. Uh, what I'd like you to do right now is check if you have the latest Salesforce package installed. We have a recently released a new version, so you can do that here by clicking right there. Now, of course, if you're working with Sales Wings, we do recommend all your sales team gets access to this to this cockpit. You can give your salespeople access uh, for a user level called Sales. Sales access users will only see their own leads in this list. And as mentioned, we can synchronize lead owners with your Salesforce organization. Um, what you will find here, of course, uh, users who use Saleswings, they don't need to stick around this cockpit. They can work literally anywhere they want. What you want them to install is the Chrome extension for Saleswings, which will send browser notifications when they need to focus on one of the leads because they're showing interest on the website. Now, if I'm working here, of course, I don't want to switch applications or tabs or websites. So they can just open up the cockpit on the right side. Uh, they will get immediately access to, uh, to the latest website visitors. And what you will find if you've connected to the Salesforce API is where it says P here for Pipedrive, you will see a straight link to the Salesforce record. So you'll be able to jump right there to the Salesforce record. Now, moving over to Salesforce, there's a quite a few uh, cool things you can do with uh, with Saleswings. Firstly, keep the, keep the goal of Saleswings in mind. It's to ensure that your team spends their time with the leads, which are the closest to the finish line, which are showing most interest, where the resistant, resistant is the lowest. So we have a list called Saleswings All Leads, which is pre-installed with a package. Remember, Saleswings synchronizes all tracking data every two, three minutes to leads as well as contacts. Um, also to duplicates. And with my 11,000 leads I have in my system, look how Saleswings gives me an immediate view here on the hottest leads that my team needs to focus on right now. So if you send out email campaigns, Saleswings will track all the leads clicking in your email campaigns, visiting your website, and then give your sales team a real-time reporting, essentially inside Salesforce, where they can focus. So make sure you set up lists inside Salesforce for your sales teams uh, or your sales team, uh, maybe based on territory, based on lead source, uh, based on uh, lead score and, and so on, and have them really uh, facilitate this follow-up decision for them. Uh, if we look at the lead, you wanna make sure you have all the data installed from Sales Wings on the lead and contact record. So you can see we have the lead score uh, as an icon and text, we have the last website visit uh, as, a, as, a, as a date and um, in a more intuitive way here. We have total website visits. And then you can mark a contact as favorite. Marking him as favorite will make sure you get a notification as soon as the lead returns to your website. So you have a very interesting lead. You, want, you don't want to miss him. Well, you check it here. If he returns to your website in two, three weeks, one month, we'll notify you. Also, we have this great intuitive visual force page here where a salesperson can qualify the lead in record time. They will see what they're curious about. It's like the lead telling them what they want to buy, the topics they're concerned with. It allowed them to share better content, which is more relevant for that sales, for that lead, um, you know, based on what they do. On the right side, we provide rich social media information with job, uh, job uh, position, company size, we facilitate social selling. You can quickly you know, make sure your sales team constantly stays on top of your leads and LinkedIn to get a company description and they can check out the lead uh, leads uh, company and really reduce lead qualification times and get a much better idea what they need to talk about uh, in their sales conversations. We also uh, synchronize, uh, as opposed to many other tools, all the visited web pages as uh, custom fields. So in a related list, and this is very cool because firstly, you can export any of these views. So you can export you know, a list of your leads 
uh, including all the visited web pages. And you can create segments. So you can re-import that list into Marketing Cloud from Salesforce, into MailChimp, uh, into your CRM, uh, if, uh, sorry, in, in, into uh, other tools that you where you need that data. And you really have all the data available. So you can use lead score, visited web pages, and so on for various reporting purposes. So we'll let this load right here. So here, so yeah, for example, here's a page report I can run where I want to see all the all the leads that looked at my pricing page. So this is another way where you can ensure that your sales team, you know, focuses on the leads which need immediate attention. And they can, of course, you know, then sort these reports uh, based on that. They can also subscribe to reports. So if they're interested to know and as soon as somebody just goes back to that pricing page, they can subscribe here and we'll alert them immediately. Also do check our reports. We have pre-installed reports. In the report section, there's the sales wings reports. You have a lot of very useful reports right there. For example, one of the reports I want to show you is the account-based report. So we don't uh, use accounts a lot here at sales wings. We, we are actually using Pipedrive as our CRM system. Uh, but this is a way to give an overview of all the accounts you have inside Salesforce. So imagine this could be hundreds um, and showing you which accounts has the most hot leads. So it gives you an idea which, you know, which accounts have the most people which are showing strong interest in your business. So it's kind of an account-based hotness report, which is very useful that you may want to use to understand what's the state of the, the pipeline is. We have another report showing you how many hot leads you currently have, how many uh, uh, normal or cold leads, and how many warm leads. This is typically interesting for reporting after newsletter campaigns or uh, understanding how many hot leads your inbound campaigns uh, generate at any moment in time. Uh, and um, well, last but not least, also make sure you have the right settings. Uh, when you go to Saleswings Setup, you can click to Plus. There's a menu called Saleswings Setup. You can pause the sync right there, uh, and you have a couple of a couple of ways to to fine tune the settings, essentially based on the history. So if you're running into data storage issues, you can decide you know whether or not you want to keep all the website activity history three months or one month, and then just resume uh, resume the, the sync. Well, uh, this is just um, a couple of tips how you can use it. There's many creative ways you can get um, data which is relevant for your salespeople. Uh, of course, uh, also we send notifications to Slack. We send email notifications. Uh, you know, so there's many different ways you can benefit from Sales Wings. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you need any help, uh, don't hesitate to go to Sales Wings. You have the chat box down here uh, where you can send us questions, and we're happy to help you uh, get set up. Thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye bye.